Give me a beer. All right, this is Billy Bob Tanley here, people. And this is a request from Mr. Hands. And it was uploaded by West Productions 100. And the name of this video is Random Livestream 919. Okay, let's check it out. Yay. The hell? Hey everyone, how's it going? West Productions 101 here, bringing you another live stream video. Just a random live stream? So this, is a, this video, this live stream, uh, is a. Uh, it's, it's just a random live stream. I don't really have anything planned for this one. I'm just going to be talking and talking. Why am I reacting to it, dude? Not, not a really long amount of time. I'm just going to be talking about various random things. Um, just, so, yeah, just what? I don't know. It's been a while since I made a video on here. Uh, what is happening? On this channel. Uh, like I've said in a previous, uh, in, the, in my uh, New Year's Eve video, I, uh, I have other content that I've worked on that's uploaded to the other YouTube channel, Twilight City I'm just Studios, watching somebody's random live stream. also on here as well. So feel free to check that stuff out on the Twilight City Studios YouTube channel as well for other content. Why am I watching this? In addition to the content from here. So, it's not really something for a reactor, I wouldn't think. Some of the things that have been happening just recently. I've um, been watching a lot of videos, lots and lots of videos uh, of various topics. I've watched a... Uh, uh, video from an alternate history hub called what if horses never existed a very interesting concept what if really horses never existed during the fact that the horse has been very vital to uh human history and human civilization they help with travel it contributes people used to, to have horses things. back in the day you know and, horse uh, and buggies especially in the old world or the um cowboy shit days and european fields as well yeah and other uh, especially around in, in those kind of parts of the world yeah, in history, um, man, just look it up. One thing about the video, I will say, of this alternate history video is I feel like the guy uh, from the alternate history hub YouTube channel, Cody, when he was making his uh, his observations of what he thought what would, a world would be like without horses in it. In the today, past, I don't know. He Do we really need horses today? Or he didn't mention, really, the Native Americans. Like well, he briefly if something happens to the, the cars, video, I guess we can go back to riding horses. He just briefly, briefly mentions, like, the make, like the Native American, just briefly. People just like horses, stuff. so for some, uh, you know, pets. I think that was a huge missed opportunity right there with that Farmers video. or whatever. You know, we're talking about a group of people separated from the rest of the world in the Americas. That's not really something I'm interested from the in, America, though. From the rest of the world for millenniums. You know, they've been living in their own sphere. They don't have any contact with the other parts of the world until the 1500s. There's Amish people uh, the that doesn't believe until, in technology. Uh, the 1500s, because apparently, I didn't know this, but the horse itself actually came from North America originally. And when humans migrated I don't know, down man. south from I don't pay attention the Arctic that. Strip, Alaska. Their horses are here. The ice, That's the it. ice bridge used to exist during the last ice age. Horses okay. were discovered in, the, in North America, present-day North America. And then... Some of them migrated up north wow. through that ice bridge again, and they went into Asia and Europe. And then the I'm not here for history. Horses what? that were in North America died out from various reasons. I'll do my own research on horses, uh, dude. Humans eating sometimes. them because at the time, as a hunter gatherer, uh, humans probably didn't humans probably didn't see the full potential of. I'm not a big horses. fan of horses, so that could have been a, that could have possibly been a, a contributing factor. Wilford Brimley so, likes his horse that he had. Definitely, I thought a missed opportunity though because. He knows and, he has uh, to know that Mr. Hans you know, the horse doesn't and his exist horse. in the Americas for for a long time afterwards. And it's mainly and it's mainly just a focus in like Asia and Europe. So he does give good examples. I don't pick I think. He does give interesting examples of how like the Mongols would have never become the powerhouse that they were with the Mongolian Empire because the horse was really what drove that whole thing. And I absolutely agree. He even said like closer knit Empires like the Roman care Empire about horses that much be, uh, to really want to learn about their history. Why black people in Europe and Asia mainly would be different. Didn't really talk about Africa though, um, and honestly, I don't really know much about if Af it would with the situation in Africa either. With the exception, maybe I'm kind of lost like already. I've kind of forgotten being, everything he said. Think he missed a big opportunity. It just goes in one ear and out and out the other. Various civilizations developed in the Americas. Going into this Ice much age, detail from, about a uh, horse. From, more, from simpler, uh, you know, simpler collectives like small villages, 
Um, even even hunter gatherers. I'm listening to what he's saying, but I'm not getting it. Like the Amazon still exists to this day. So you know, I'm just reacting. Of different civilizations came about in the Americas after the Ice Age. You know, again, I just mentioned like small local communities, small villages, all the way from that a scale, village is all a way horse to the very h- higher end scale, like the Aztecs, the Incas, and the Mayas. So all these these a variety of different civilizations arose. You know. Simpler ones to more advanced ones, all without horses. Horses, and, yeah, and horses, not magic. Horses definitely contributed. And then you to got the damn My Little Ponies out there. Their development and how they operated. So you know, I was, I was, I was surprised that Cody from the Alternate History Hub YouTube channel did not really use Never the Americas as a as a as a, bu- as a blueprint or as a as a as a as a board or a foundation to talk about. How those examples from the Americas could be could be applied to, to sneeze. I feel sneeze to, uh, coming the rest around. of the world. If if a, the Asian continent didn't have horses, or if Europe didn't have horses, or other parts of the world didn't have horses, because it's not like the rest of the, it's not like it's not like another it's not it's not like a different type of alternate history where you know everybody you know, used horses all, throughout history you know, start though from nothing and kind of had to kind of hypothesize from the start. It's like it's Amish like, no, people still horse, use horses to this very day because they don't believe in people people everything else. A different part of the world that didn't have horses for thousands of years and you know study that study those cultures and study and study those civilizations and you know you can come to observations like how they serve, how they lived and how they managed their cities and civilizations. And, uh, and, you know, what happened in Europe could have been very similar to what happened in the Americas. And horse Asia, cetera, power. You know? So yeah, definitely missed opportunity there. Um, I watched a video on alien from the, I don't know what I'm talking about channel. aliens now, uh, but I don't really get me started on that. I can I tell you a lot at, about like, that. Shit. Something about the military and the universe wanting to turn the aliens blood, acid blood into a weapon or something like that. But the fuck? I like, you know, that's a whole. That's a very big uh, premise. And what's that got to do with horses? In that universe, humans always trying to somehow experiment on these creatures, always thinking like they're the like a certain human individual thinks he or she is the is the exempt is the exempt ex- exemption. Like, oh, I won't I be killed by these things, or I won't you know fuck things up, and then they fuck it up, and like. So I really yeah. don't have much to so, offer because I really don't understand um, what what is going on here. Yeah. So. Not really sure. We're supposed what to be talking about, about horses, right? Not really sure why I brought it up. And then uh, I didn't realize it. I didn't realize it was even a con- too much of a controversy. I mean, I knew it was a controversy, but I didn't realize how big it was at the time. But back when uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two came out, there was Call a mission Duty. called No Russian. And uh, I just watched a video recently, this today actually, from this person who made a commentary on on that mission in Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two and how people were like. You know, attacking it and criticizing it, and um, I don't play Call of Duty there's a games. Bunch of controversy and how people who hate video games or there's like, too many of those video games as being violent, and influencing violence. They use that as an example, while like just always. completely missing the point of what the mission was about. And I absolutely agree, definitely missing the point there. Um, that's a lot. That's a, that's the problem with a lot of these uh, a lot of these anti video game activist people. Is, they leave the video you know, games alone. Uh, anti like anti-art people, anti-entertainment people, like people who want to very much control those things, control the expression of art in various mediums. They just want everybody and, to go uh, back to riding horses, I guess. That's always something, you know, I'm, that honestly that doesn't surprise me because the thing about some of these people is that they already have a cognitive bias. They already have a, they already, they already, they already have a bias, you know, towards like video games. I'm or very like lost that. now. And uh, We're talking about video you know, games now. It started off know, as horses. Confirmation bias is the term I'm thinking of. So when someone who is already, you know, prejudiced to video games or is has a negative attitude towards video games because for various reasons, maybe they don't play them and, you know, they just don't then like they go after the movies. video games. You know, when they see like the violence in the video game mission, like Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and they, just, and they just see the violence and they don't actually know the context behind they don't the care. mission itself or the storyline or, you know, other philosophical they just don't care things. at all. And also they're probably caught up in their own, you know, mindset, which is understandable. Sometimes people do that. They, you know, they want to think that their views well, are they you know, leave the people right views alone. So, not their own fucking um, business. That being said though, people I like those, shit. I just people that, like, like you know, good things, people like boring general, things. I mean, things. In general cause violence. I think just give us all our space violence, you know, and go fuck a lot off. Bigger culprits at work in our world that cause violence. Violence has always been around for a very long time and it wasn't It don't matter if we didn't have video games or, or video movies games or, or anything like that. We still be violent. What not or the radio, what not, you know. Violence has been around for a while and in fact 
from um, it, I wish I had the data right now. This but really don't have a target. It's just uh, Actually, I'll have to look that up. I maybe. thought it was about horses. Um, now it's turning the other I mean, things. Yeah, I mean, like it, I can see that though because there's less wars than there were before. You know, the industrial revolution. We're gonna start getting political now because yeah, I ain't gonna comment but, on that. You know, nothing of the scale of like the American Civil War, the World Wars, or. You know, even going further back than that. I don't yeah, so, read a lot of history. Um, I kind of flunk history no, class. Point. If I can find that video, I'll definitely link it in the description section below. But anyway, it's been 10 minutes. I think it's about time to end this stream. Uh, thank you for watching or, or listening. Yeah, you. And, uh, take care. So there you go, everyone. If y'all want to watch the original video, the link is in the description. Go check it out and shit. I'm getting the fuck out of here. So yeah, my name is Billy Bob Tanley, and I approve this message.